Welcome to Hawkmore Outdoors. And on today's episode, we're out here for the halibut. We're out here halibut fishing and what is this? Cook's Inlet? Cook Inlet, yeah. Cook Inlet. That's my brother-in-law Isaac. So fish on the boat. It's gonna be fun. You all stay tuned. Don't let go of the boat. So we're fishing for halibut and we're in 120 feet of water using herring, hoping to catch a monster. So they jumped in the ocean to launch a boat, I got excited. Now you got it. There oh, fish yeah. on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let the okay. <laughs> Here it is, the first halibut. Good job, James. Just a little bit about the rig we're using. It's called a Kodiak Custom. It's got a couple hooks down here. And we tipped it off with some herring. So, you already dropped this thing down. Just basically just dropping her straight down until it hits the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, just stop it and maybe give it a little crank up. One or two cranks up. That's where those big ones are hiding. Color, good fish. It's good fish, good fish. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Okay, keep it there. Okay, lift your rod up a little bit. Okay, let the tail out. Perfect. Nice. You got another one? Reel up, you might, yeah. Reel up. Yeah, yeah oh yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no way we're gonna get double. Triple? We'll just start like eating. You should've ate a lot earlier. <laughs> Looks like we most definitely either have the same fish. No, or I bet I'm, I'm on your there's line. Two. No, there's two fish. There's two fish. Keep it coming. Whoever's first, got that one. Guys, nice. bring it in. Let the bail loose on yours, James. Okay. Just gonna pull this one. 
No kidding. Oh yeah, she's shaking. This one's always hung up in that gaggle oh, thing there. There he is, there he is. Uh, hold on, hold on to it, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on, let me slap out, James. Alright, I got the bell open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so James is fishing with the Kodiak Custom, which is more of a jig. This is called a circle hook. And so we let the halibut bury itself on there and it's really hooked more solid where the Kodiak Custom, it's a J hook, they're easier to get off. I prefer these because when it's on, it's on. We got a four man limit today and they're very slippery and not really wanting to sit on this table so we're gonna get the play knives out and put in some real work. I guess the, the hard work starts now. Huh? Yeah. All right. I've never never had the pleasure of cleaning yeah, a halibut. Okay. So we get four fillets per fish. We get one here, one here, and then on the top side also it's a little easier to see on this white side, right where their spine comes down. You see this line that comes right down like this, comes up and around. So you can feel like their belly right down in here. It's yeah. kind of soft. That's all their guts in there. We don't want to mess with that. We've thrown the line right through here. Don't want to mess with getting in the guts and getting nasty. So 
I normally start with the dark side. Some people like to start with the white side because you can see the spine easier. My first cut, I come right down the tail right here down to the spine. So we get to the bone. And you come right down that same line that you can see on the white, you can still see it right here, that's that spine line. Come right down to the bone with this beautifully, beautifully dull knife. Just come right down that spine. And if you feel up here by a spin, you can feel the bones up here by its skull and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of stay out of that, come right along the border of it. Like I said, stomach is right down here. We want to stay out of that, so I just put my little line right down. I kind of just give myself my little guideline right from the start. Come right up around these bones up here, over, around the head. This knife is simply dull. Okay. Then for me, I like, I kind of read my fingers right up and down the spine here, really to make sure I'm down all the way down to the bones. See this line comes around like that, yep. yep. And then the stomach's right down here, so we don't want to even mess with that, kind of just draw a line right down into there. And don't put, push too hard, because once we start coming down along these ribs, you'll find that line. So just don't puncture the stomach if you can avoid it. Well, some people, while we, uh, while we went out here today, I'm gonna tell you, just for the hell of it, There you have it, folks. A tub full of fish. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And we'll see you next time. Hawkmire Outdoors.